Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. This is Optivotimus again with another video review. This time I'm doing a re-review of my Transformers Classic 1.0 Bumblebee figure. Now as you can see, Bumblebee is in a unique car looking mode, whatever kind he is. I don't know. i sorry. They basically stung this things off of crazy cars. But one thing that people have talked about is that if you remove this real spoiler, which if you can just look right there, kind of looks more like Bumblebee that way. And it kind of does. So, if you want to modify it, take that little thing off and it'll go away. I don't know. I'll have to look in there and see if how, how I could actually do it. Classic yellow color with the white, so it's a little bit more modern. I do kind of like that. You know, these red lights and such. Rub sign here on the top, which is really nice. You know what? Now that I think about it, on the new 2.0 ones, I don't think they put rub signs. They're not putting rub signs on the new 2.0 ones. So that's nice to see that come back. I do I do like that. Again, like I said, this is the 1.0. They're re-releasing the or they're releasing the 2.0s here shortly. So this is kind of a throwback review, mostly because I deleted this one to become a partner and it successfully worked. So I'm putting this guy back up. But Bumblebee is a very unique character in the fact that he is kind of like a teenager and really really responds well to the humans. Now initially the the human liaison to the Autobots seemed to be Hound. That changed as the series progressed and Bumble became a much more integral part with the actual humans and such. He's, like I said, a teenager so he relates well to the likes of Spike and Daniel and uh, well not really Daniel not, yeah, not really Daniel at all. Um, but overall really cool looking figure. I really do like this mode rolls really well and all that jazz. I'm probably actually going to try to think about taking this off. I don't know. It just depends on how bad it looks. I don't have the... It comes with a Sea-Doo jetpack. It's downstairs. Yeah, I'm not going to go and get it because it's. I think it's kind of stupid. I never bother using it anyhow. But it's got this big giant trailer hitch for it. So to go ahead and transform them, what you go ahead and do, take the arm and pull the, the door panel out to the side like that, just kind of separate those off to the side. Then taking this, rotate these down to the bottom, rotate, then grab hold of the wheel and the upper arm and rotate that all the way out, then rotate this more so that it is now on the side like so. Again, do it here, <coughs> excuse me, like that, rotate that around to the front again having the wheels now on the inside as opposed to the outside. Take the door panels, rotate those around. Now you'll notice that there's a little hole right there. There's a little slot right in there that when you rotate it will line up and you can push it back in and they'll hold that into place. So again, rotate it, lock that into place just like so. So now you have his arms. So what you want to do is separate this entire section here, just pull that apart come here to the legs, separate those, lift this little section up, fold it down, do the same for here, lift that, fold the foot down, and then these little guys here which were his seats, go ahead and fold those down, they become his kneecaps, oddly enough. Come around here to this, the tailgate, lift it up, and then bring it all the way back and make sure that you push it all the way so you hear it kind of pop into place. Fold the chest piece down, fold the head down. Bring down the arms and there you guys have Bumblebee. Really cool looking. His head's on a ball joint so it will rotate a full 360 degrees. Also moves up and down. I like this when he does have his jetpack on it can look like he's flying. His arms both at the shoulder and at the elbow have ball joints so they have a full range of motion except that's about as high as it goes at the elbow and such. No rotation in his hands. Legs pivot back and forth. They're also on a ball joint and then a hinge joint at the knee and they also rotate. Feet, if you want to call them feet, there's some good posability in those. 
can get him to do some crazy ass wild stuff. <laughs> I mean, good posability in him, mostly because of the stability of his feet themselves. So, it really helps out. One thing I really do like is his face. As you can see, very G1 esque with the face itself. You have the little horns showing off. Very G1 face. I really like that. Overall, though, really cool figure. That rub symbol is really coming through now because it's kind of warm in my room. But really cool figure. I really do like this. I think it's a tremendous nod to G1 that he looks this good. I really think his robot mode is his best looking mode of the two. But either way, I would pick this guy up if you guys can. There is a cliff jumper repaint of him, which is the red version, obviously. I don't have that one because well, I really don't know why I don't have that one. I never found it and I never picked it up. I don't know. But if I ever got it, I would do a separate review for that anyhow. But really cool looking. Now, to go ahead and transform him back, just bring the legs together and just clip those little guys. Squeeze those nice and together like so. Separate the torso, the back section here, separate that. Take the head, fold the head back like that, and then slide him back. That's the best way to get him in there. Hopefully you can see that. So you have his head like that, and go all the way back. Bring forward, and when you do that, fold down the feet. Like so. Make sure all the pegs lined up properly. Close the, or adjust the seats on the inside here so that they're now sitting back up. Close the hood, as it were. Fit that together like so. Come around here to the arms. And then you gotta rotate, you gotta separate here. And it's literally just like a bunch of rotating. Just like that. Then when you get that lined up nicely, you'll be able to peg this into place on the side. Just like so. Rotate this around and around and around. Swivel this around. Push that in like so. Replace the rear bumper or hitch. And there you guys have it. Classics 1.0. Bumblebee. Highly recommend this figure. If you don't have him, try and find him. He's really fun, really cool looking, and reminds you greatly of uh, the original Bumblebee. I like how you got this little thing here where you can open this. It's like he's got his hood open, except you see legs. But, so there you go, guys. Till next time, this is Optimus. Peace out.